Hello viewers, so today we are back with another episode and today's topic is very important and useful. We are going to discuss the ways and methods to prevent dementia. And just to briefly tell you, dementia is a condition where person starts losing memory and other higher brain functions and so that you know after a period of time they are not able to function independently. They require assistance of family and friends to even do the basic you know daily chores like uh, taking bath or dressing or just going from one room to other room or to visiting for visiting their friends and family so you know it's a disabling disease and other uh, bad thing is that there is no cure today so we have certain medications to treat Alzheimer's disease but they only help to a certain extent and you know when you see a patient with Alzheimer's uh, we feel sorry to you know see them so the therefore the best method for us is to prevent dementia and make sure that dementia doesn't come in us. So today I'm going to discuss about 14 steps which one can incorporate in daily activities so that we can minimize the risk of getting dementia. So number one is blood pressure. As you know blood pressure or high BP is a risk factor for causing brain strokes and also small areas of ischemia less blood flow in the brain and both can increase the risk of dementia. So keep checking your blood pressure and make sure it is 120 by 80 or less and if it is higher consult a physician so that it can be brought down to normal. Second thing is high blood sugar or diabetes. Again it is a risk factor for causing brain strokes and the lack of blood supply to brain and this also is a risk factor for causing dementia. Third is the body weight. So we know that people who are overweight or obese have a higher risk of getting dementia including Alzheimer's disease or other type of dementia called as vascular dementia which happens due to lack of blood supply to brain. So always aim for maintaining ideal body weight uh, so which you know we know is based on the height and we have parameters like body mass index which is less than 25. We can also look at waist circumference or height to waist ratio. You know these things can help us to understand if our body weight is normal or not. If it is high then with the help of good diet diet control and also exercise one can bring it down to normal levels and that will definitely help in reducing the risk of dementia. Healthy diet you know we all talk about healthy diet but very often uh, we don't consume healthy diet. So we have to consume healthy diet which means you know four to five helpings of fruits and vegetables on daily basis uh, you know having whole cereals reducing the carbohydrate intake reducing you know ultra processed packaged foods anything that contains sugar or sweet that should be minimized and increase the intake of protein especially fish and some nuts certain nuts also are good for the brain health and as are blueberries so these are the dietary strategies that can definitely help us reduce the risk of dementia the number five is the physical activity so sedentary lifestyle or not exercising is a risk factor for dementia so those who are physically active and the recommendation is not much it is about 30 minutes of exercise five days a week which means 150 minutes of good exercise can be brisk walking running cycling or swimming whatever you like and you can do on five days in a week that will definitely improve the blood circulation to various parts of body including the brain and that will reduce the risk of getting dementia and along with the physical activity the next one is mentally active being active. So if somebody keeps mentally active by learning a new skill, by reading a book or by writing certain stories or learning a new skill like singing or playing a musical instrument or solving crossword puzzles or sudoku. So these are very important for keeping the brain active and reducing the risk of dementia. Whereas somebody who is mentally inactive just sits or watches TV, you know, that's not good for the brain. And then uh, staying connected. So we know that loneliness is a risk factor for getting Alzheimer's disease as well as other types of dementia. So humans are social. So one needs to you know, be connected to the family and friends and try to make sure that on daily basis spend some time with the family and friends, talk to them and that will reduce the risk of you know, getting uh, dementia. And then uh, two more things are one is the eyesight, second is hearing. So we know that those who have poor hearing and those who have poor eyesight, they are prone to get uh, dementia and other cognitive disorders. So keep getting the hearing checked 
and if any hearing problem is found then go for hearing aids similarly cataract is a common cause for uh, you know blindness or reduced vision in older people it should be rectified and treated and both are simple for hearing uh, one should avoid exposure to loud noise and this nowadays use of earbuds or cell phone is very common and that can also lead to increased risk of tinnitus and deafness so one has to minimize the exposure to loud sounds also and then uh, you know keep uh, getting your mental uh, checkups done so mental uh, stress and depression anxiety if it is con continued for long time can increase the risk of dementia so if somebody has stress anxiety and depression get screened and treated we have uh, good psychologists and psychiatrists so you know with their help it can be brought down to normal you know, and that can definitely help in uh, getting the dementia under control or preventing dementia other checkups also are required if, if there is high cholesterol then that should be brought down to normal and the next point is the sleep so we all know sleep is important and we also know that those who sleep less than 6 hours or those who oversleep more than 9 hours both can increase the risk of dementia as you know sleeping in the daytime also is not good for the brain especially for those who are below 50 years of age older people of course can sleep in the daytime also for 1 to 2 hours so you know first most important is adequate sleep of 7 to 9 hours and that will ensure that the risk of dementia is reduced next is head injury so those head injury is a independent risk factor for causing dementia so while driving wear helmets and then you know in car have uh, wear seat belts so these things definitely can minimize the risk of head injuries and also if any head injury is occurring then uh, take treatment early and the next two habits are the last ones so alcohol is also a risk factor for dementia because alcohol causes shrinkage of brain and also many parts of brain can damaged those who consume alcohol a lot they can get thiamine deficiency which is also an important cause for dementia vitamin b12 deficiency can cause dementia so alcohol is not good for brain it is neurotoxic so try to avoid it or keep it to the you know lowest amount possible and the last uh, habit which can affect uh, adversely is the smoking so definitely tobacco and smoking should be avoided completely so if one takes care of all these you know 14 parameters then the risk of dementia and alzheimer disease can be definitely minimized and you know so one can avoid becoming demented and uh, all the miseries that come along with that so i hope you learned something from this and uh, please like this video share it and if you have any queries or comments please post them thank you for watching